Hello everyone and welcome back to Everyday Husband Quotes, the channel for marriage advice, marriage entertainment, and everything else, marriage. Hey, hey guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. Melody explained in an IG Live about why she attended Destiny's relaunch. And I know a lot of y'all got onto me in the comment section of the last video. And let me say, honey, by the way, I still ain't shook back. <laughs> lol but it's okay for real for real but in this video melody explains exactly how she was informed about destiny's invite it started with production which doesn't surprise me but she also said that she was there to support destiny that she doesn't have anything against destiny and at the end of the day she wanted to be a supportive person supporting destiny not saying that they have to be friends at the end of the day because i don't really think that's what melody was insinuating in this video but i think she just wanted to support destiny like stormy wanted to support Destiny. So y'all take a listen as Melody details why she attended in the first place, how she felt afterwards after the incident, and, and how the cast will potentially move on with several conversations happening in the future. As always, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you leave your comments in the comment section of this video and I will talk to you guys in the next Um, time. No, it wasn't an all day event. Um, a total, if I had to kind of guess, you know, trying to remember from the time I got there, until the time I left, I was probably only there for like an hour or two. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. A lot happened in that hour. Can you like maybe tell us a little bit about your intention when you got there? I know obviously you wanted to have a conversation with, with Miss Wanda, but what was your intention before you got there? And then what was your takeaway after you left? Sure, sure. So um, upon arriving, um, you know, and I, I said this before that event and, you know, I'll con continue to say it. Um, I'm not, I, I'm not in a place where I like, oh, I hate destiny and I hope she doesn't do well or da, 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 right? And so considering, you know, it was a public event and yes, of course, production is like, hey, you know, there's going to be a public event. Um, you know, you want to come, think it'd be a good idea. It'll show, you know, to Destiny, hey, you know, I ain't trying to, I want your business to do well and I'm, I'm going to support it at least to the, uh, you know, to the amount that I want to support it and be there to support. And I'm like, okay, cool. I'll come. You know what I'm saying? Um, so when I came, I came in, I spoke, said what I had to say. I wasn't received well. Um, and I think for me that immediately, you know, but I, it's no big deal. People have feelings, they have emotions, whatever. Like, I, I stayed inside maybe 10 minutes, 20 max, and then I left. I was gonna leave. Right. <laughs> so came, said hi, my mom walked in right behind me. She said, congratulations. I mean, it was a quick in and out. Battery did something, anyway. It was a quick in and out. Um, how I felt afterwards. Um, I felt fine, <laughs> um, totally fine. I have no regrets about anything I did or said, to be honest. Um, if the, if it was to be done or said all over, I'd do it again. It would be the same, if it were the same thing that had been happening for over a year, and then I saw the person in person, and especially after, you know, having family members threatening me with, I would do the same exact thing. It never would have changed. Um, so I felt fine after I left. I went, girl, child, I went home, changed out that dang on jumpsuit, honey. I had put on me some little shorts and a shirt and went out there to the uh, concert they was having for the black folks in Huntsville. Child, I went to the concert. <laughs> <laughs> I went outside and was hanging out and kicking it at the concert. I was fine. <laughs> so one common things that I see on the page, running the page is like, where does the group go from here? Yeah, that's what someone else told me um, a minute ago, actually. A lady from the Ooh La La, Bundy Blue and them panel. Oh, sorry, I forgot. I wasn't in. I came in a little Yeah, bit. no, Ooh Ladies, first first ladies panel, something like that. Yeah, yeah but um, where does it go from here? That's, I, I, I will tell you, like I told her, that's a good question. Um, I... I don't know. <laughs> I'll be real. I don't know. And I'm a person who, when I don't know something, I'm not going to make something up. I'm not going to tell you what you might want to hear. I'm not going to give you what I think you want me to give. I'm going to be honest about it. And the honest answer is, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, I know. That's like the number one question under the comments that I see. Like, yeah. where does the group go from here? Because so much has been said and so much has been done. Uh, yeah, yeah, I will tell you this, you know, I shared this earlier, whenever I 
um, made the decision to take a leap and to push for a reality TV show here in Huntsville. Um, coming out the gate, even when, you know, we were greenlit for season one, um, I was on some, if I'm going to do reality TV, I'm going to do reality TV and I'm going to keep it real and I'm gonna, not going to, you know what I'm saying, fake anything. I'm not going to do that. And so out the gate, you guys saw the good and the bad in my marriage, right? Um, I'm not willing to not <laughs> be authentic. Yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not willing to be a part of something that's not authentic because that's not reality TV. And so, um, yeah, you know, it's, I, I can't tell you where it goes from here. I don't know. Um, oh, there are a lot of conversations for sure that happen behind scenes and um, on camera. You guys will see some conversations coming down the pipeline that are held on camera um, about the situation. So um, I think that in all fairness, you know, <laughs> it, at the end of the day, um, I've never said anything pertaining to anybody's children on this show. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't hear me talk about nobody's kids. I just don't. I don't even try to insinuate anything about anybody's children um, because it's just not cool, you know? So when you start having to get that low, then some there needs to be something, um, some things need to be evaluated, maybe restructured. Um, and you, that's just, you start to lose the integrity and the morality of Mm. whenever that happens.